Hey everyone, this is Pastor Michael. I am at Panera this morning. I, I was up early and so I thought, well, I'm just going to get up and get going. So we're doing the devotion in a little bit different place. We are in John chapter 4. So you might see some people walking behind me. You might hear some music, but hopefully uh, you could focus on what we're doing today. We're at the end of chapter 4 of John and Jesus uh, runs into a a centurion. He's back in Cana in Galilee where he performed the first miracle. And the centurion comes to Jesus and says, Lord, my son is about to die. He's at the point of death. Can you heal him? And Jesus in verse 48 says, unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. And the official just kind of ignores that and says, sir, come down before my child dies. And Jesus said, go, your son will live. And the point that I, I, I want to make from that is that oftentimes we want to see those signs and wonders as well, don't we? I know when I first started to read the Bible and question whether Jesus was real or not, I said, Lord, heal my back. If you heal my back, I will believe. And I've had a back problem since in my early 20s. I've had it for the last 40 years. And you know what? God said, no, Michael, I'm not going to heal your back. You're not going to get the signs and wonders that you wanted so, so that you would say, oh, I believe, I believe, look at what God did for me. In fact, God said, you're going to be this Jewish boy who becomes a Christian, who becomes a minister. So you talk about God having that sense of humor. Yeah, he really does. So I just want to encourage you that sometimes we're not going to get the signs and the wonders that we want. It's not all going to happen for us. It's not going to be the way that we want it to be. And yet... God is faithful, and he will be with us, and he will not abandon us, he will not fail us, he will walk with us, and he, he died for us, and he came to give us eternal life, and to give us hope, and to give us peace, and to give us grace and mercy. And so, friends, I want to just encourage you that if you don't get the signs and wonders, if you don't get the miracle you wanted, if your prayer for a healing doesn't come the way you want it to, don't give up on God. Know that he is with you. He won't fail you. He won't forsake you. And just as a side note, I, I think it's really cool, this progression that we see in John, that in John chapter 3, you had Nicodemus coming to Jesus, this highly respected Jewish leader. And then in chapter 4, we see this woman at the well, a woman who's had five husbands and is with a sixth man who is disrespected, who has to get her water in the middle of the day when there's no other woman with her. And then we see a Roman centurion. And it's the point that I think God is making to us. The gospel is open for all people. It is there and available. So grab hold of it. Help your neighbors, help your friends, help your co-workers, help your family to see Jesus in the way that you live your lives. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Hold on to the grace and to the love of God because know and trust He loves you. God bless you. Have a great day. See you Monday.